good. Bye. Bye. The idea is this, that we have like four or five groups and each group is going to make a film. Are we going to be like us ourselves in our own films or is, are we like just producing it? Three, two, one, action. Thursday on set. Let's go. <laughs> right, uh, I'll just pull up the... Close up in there. <laughs> I feel incredibly excited. Three, two, one. I'm Adam Martin, I'm 17 years old, and I'm making a film for a festival called Unlock. My name, as you can see, is uh, Joseph, and in doing this lockdown, I've just been like watching a lot of the YouTube and theatre like videos which they've been streaming. I'm Marussia, and during lockdown, I've been like watching like lots of um, like documentaries and watching like the behind the scenes and like how like they do that. And I'm Isabel. I've wrote a song and. Um, I've been doing TikTok. I post quite a few different types of videos, mainly videos of me complaining about things, which uh, goes well. So we're going to talk about the film ideas in a bit more detail. Yeah. Uh, so looking at the subject, first of all, what do you want to make a film about? Yeah. Sounds exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on the day, I can be calm, reflective, thankful, or a chaotic ball of existential dread. At first, I just switched off, ignored it all. I'm such a loner, you think I'd be happy to be so cut off from everyone? But being alone is an illness itself. It's not the first time I've been on my own for such a long amount of time, but it is the first time I've had no choice. It's five stories of isolation uh, told through monologues of sorts which come together in the end because i think as, as an artist you do take from your environment and if you're not getting out enough and seeing things it can be hard to put that into something so i thought well this is what we've got lockdown isolation so i'll do something about that right yeah so the main thing i want to do today is just go through and work in the character motivations into each um block of the text you know what we could do actually um we could add in a bit about um, his brother in yeah. like that second okay, bit yeah, there. That's, that's good, yeah. Oh, wonderful. That's a wrap then. I was really interested with the idea of connection and isolation and how you can retain some of that connection with other people through lockdown and through isolation because I think that's one of the most important things because if you're not talking to people and if you're not um, communicating with people and doing things, it can be dangerous. For your mental health and it can accentuate problems you're already having. <laughs> Same time again tomorrow. See you all tomorrow. See ya. Bye. 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 I just thought that I, of all people, would be safe. I mean, I tick all the boxes. I'm pretty, I'm funny, I'm relatable, I'm cute, I'm intelligent, I'm consistent with my videos. I'm basically perfect. It's probably just jealousy. I mean, I don't blame them. I'd be jealous of me too. And you know what? Sometimes the online world just sucks. It's a short film about uh, the rise and fall of a social media star. Um, a lot of people don't really see behind the scenes of a social media star. They see exactly what that person wants them to see, which is obviously the beauty and the like awfulness, if you will, of social media. Uh, a lot of people believe that what they see is 100% authentic a lot of the time when it's really not. We try to show like that it's not as glamorous as it seems, even though she's very irritating at first. Um, towards the end you see that she's not as perfect as she would have herself believe by showing everyone else that she is. Well, behind the scenes, day something. My skin is not loving the amount of makeup I'm putting on it every day. Leanne is full of this. Look at this. Look at that! Mm -mm. Can you remember how you felt at the start of the process when you were about to start filming 
at the beginning. Terrified. <laughs> Absolutely terrified. I had no idea how we were going to go about it. Uh, was mainly just thinking as many shots as possible. So if something goes wrong, we've got other things to like pick from. Wow. We've just recorded, <laughs> we recorded the same scene like five times. First time we did it, we were, we were facing the wall. We had, the, we had the front camera on, so it was just facing the wall. <laughs> the second time we did it, we did it in just slow motion. We're not very good at this. I'm scared. I'm terrified to admit it. Sometimes, just wants to eat you alive, even when you beg it to stop. I would class it as more of a theatrical um, film. It's a film centred around um, anxiety um, and mainly just to send a message to anyone watching that anxiety can come in many forms, just to spread awareness as much as we can. We are just 20 minutes away from actually starting to record and ignore her. <laughs> I just am loving the opportunity to do some drama again and be in an amazing person's film. It depends how you want to represent it. If you want to represent I, I anxiety as a character or represent yeah. anxiety as, as like a, a voice, really. I want it obviously to be characterless because obviously it's anxiety, but I guess I still want it to kind of be in the same place as where we're talking. I'm a happy person. He's a happy person. Everyone thinks he's... Fine! When we started, we were going to film in, like, a field um, what had, like, a lot of open space, but what we realised, that the wind, it was very windy that day, it completely messed up a lot of the audio. So what we had to do, we had to, like, change location very quickly. <laughs> It's now or never. We leave this place for good. Or we stay locked away here forever. So my film is basically just about um, a social media world that two people are stuck in because social media was sort of becoming such a massive thing that it sort of swallowed them up into this like new world that would represent uh, the social media world. They sort of realise that this isn't what they want. This isn't perfect world that, that that social media portrayed it to be and all they want to do is escape. So it's basically they're escaping the world. Beautiful! We're in the scene of Lost. It's fake reality. It's not what it used to be. It's not fun anymore. This was my first time ever like filming anything like on my own. Nervous, yeah, but um, I had my friend there, Ellie, with me, who helped um, assist with like, the recording the behind the scenes. And then with Lottie, I was just kind of, just you know, have fun with it. Like you told us to, just have fun with it. So you're given the opportunity to create your own film and produce it and, you know, write the script and everything. And so I was really uh, nervous about that, but when we got out there, we sort of like set up everything up. It felt kind of like surreal, like, oh my God, I'm filming my own film. Right. I said it. <laughs> right. I said Three. it. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, we'll start again. Action. What? in anything. Before this, I was never really open to the idea of filmmaking, but doing this, I realised I actually could like, do so much through filmmaking, like educational purposes or even just for fun. And I, I definitely think I want to go into it now in the future. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I didn't expect it to turn out so, so good because when you adapt and move on to a new idea, sometimes it can be a bit, you know, it can be uh, scary, but it worked out really well. I guess the fact that I've actually managed to create a film, I never would have thought that. And so I guess like the whole thing was a surprise. It's taught me a lot. It's given me a platform to go on to like maybe bigger things. Thank you for the opportunity to do it. I loved it and I definitely wouldn't have done it. <laughs> so um, <laughs> thank you for the opportunity. A massive thank you to Chol for allowing me to do this. It was a really, really fun experience. That's a wrap. Say it, Otelio. Say it. That's a wrap. <laughs>